Good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of voice to radio. So today, we are back for one more run. You see, I've been, well, let, let's face it, kind of a little bit obsessed with these double blisters lately for Darkness Ablaze. And the fact that they are literally just two packs, one of which is free. You buy a pack of Darkness Ablaze for the recommended retail price of £3.99. But you also get a pack of... Now, I've seen them with Rebel Clash. I've seen them with Sword and Shield. These are Rebel Clash just like the other ones I've opened. And they're a ridiculous, ridiculous value. I'm not entirely sure how it works, if I'm honest with you. I, I don't know how they justify doing this. It's clearly a marketing thing. I'm all over it. Now, the theory for this video is twofold, because I am fully aware this is the third video. Although, as I like to think of it, we're kind of finishing up a trilogy. Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, what's the opening double blisters? You see, I originally went to game to buy my first bunches. First two things came from game, and I went there for the Jumbo Eternatus and Toxicity promos. So, I went off to, let's say, the other place in the UK that was supposed to give me a Corviknight promo and a Jumbo Eternatus, but I'm not so worried about that one because I've already got that one, as you've seen. So, I've been trying to figure out what's going on, and, and I'll be honest with you, it's been um, slow going and frustrating, I think would be an appropriate way to put it. It has not been terribly easy trying to figure this stuff out. They've not been terribly helpful. So I might be getting my Corviknight promo later. There are actually two potential different avenues I can use to get it. Neither of which is even remotely guaranteed. But these are still ridiculous values. And let's face it, the two openings we've done so far have been nuts. Like, we have opened two lots. We opened four and then eight. We're going six here, halfway in between. And first, we pulled the Charizard and a couple of other cool cars. And then in the last one, we pulled, like... Was it Rainbow Butterfree? Was that we we pulled a bunch of really cool stuff. So I want to do one more opening because I want to know if these are always going to be this good. I've heard of other people having much worse luck than I, so I want one more test to see how good they are. Really, I'd love to say I'm not going to buy any more of these. The reality is I might, I might not, but I am going to say that it's very, very unlikely that I'm going to do another opening. I think probably that this is my limit now. So, we're starting off with Rebel Class, Aglary, Mr. Rhyme, there is a Snow, or Mr. Mime, Snova, Pidav, Daramaka, Hatena, Metal Energy, there's Makarko, oh, love me some beware, there's a Skylar, Rev Hollow Cyber, and Chandelure. Nice! We did actually, I believe that is a second chandelier that we've actually pulled from these packs so far. I believe we've actually previously pulled a chandelier, which is very, very cool. So, add that one to the pile. It's a nice start. We got a hollow. We got a white code card. It's not perfect, of course. We, we, we want, you know, a Pokemon V, V Max, things of that nature. Maybe a gold card, but not a terrible start. So, there's a Trubbish, another Pidoff, Helioptile, there's a Voltorb, Sandigast, bit of the old Grass Energy, Pelipper, there's a Bronzong, Nugget I like as an item card, Rev Hollow Indeedy, and a Bomber Snow. Okay, one for two so far in terms of the, um, I mean, we're, we're looking at what people call white codes. So, in the packs, you get either a white code, which is slightly lighter because that was a pack where you got a holo card or a V or something along those lines. Whereas green codes are slightly heavier and you don't get a holo. The theory essentially is that you used to be able to weigh packs. So here, because the code card makes the lighter pack slightly heavier, the whole weighing packs thing has gone away. So there are the commons. There's a water energy. Horror energy is quite nice. Heat more. More pico. Rev Hollow Curse Shovel I like, and oh, Full Art Double V. Nice! <laughs> Can this keep happening? Can we just keep doing this over and over and over again? 
I kind of hope we can, if I'm honest with you. The problem is, I, I'm getting kind of... Well, I'm, I'm buying too many of these. I bought a bunch. Oh, I got a Charizard. Let's go buy some more. And then I pulled really well for the second one. So I'm like, oh, let's go buy some. I mean, I'm just going to keep doing this. Like, if I pull well out of these packs, am I going to go and buy more of these double packs? Am I only going to stop when these don't exist anymore? The answer is maybe. Ah, oh, come on. keep this. Let's keep this good luck rolling. That would be awesome. Right. Okay. So, still going through Rebel Clash for the time being. Let's see what we've got. There's another Raplin and a Hatena and a Magikarp and a Meditite and a Stunky. Oh, something fell down. What fell down? Psychic Energy and a Horror Energy. Make a Psychic deck. We'll see. There's a Heat more. There's more Pico. Rev Hollow Nartu. And... Oh, I do like this Toxtricity. This Toxtricity is very, very cool. That's the one that lets you flip a coin. And if heads, you mill five cards from your opponent's deck. If tails, you mill five cards from your own. It is one of the coolest, most interesting cards we've actually had released in a while. I don't know if it's ever going to be good, but I, I kind of desperately want it to be good. Right. Okay. Two packs of Rebel Clash to go. There's a Mr. Mime. There's a Snova. And a Pitoff. And a Daramaka. And a Hatena. Bit of the old Fire Energy. Bit of the old Carcoal. There's another Beware. I love him. Skylar. Good card. Rev Hollow Cyber. And... Ooh! Pincurchin V. Not the most sought after or valuable of the Pokemon Vs. But I do kind of... I love collecting them. And it, it's quite easy to collect when they're the rubbish ones like Pincushion. Because <laughs> honestly, it's a kind of it's a kind of Pokemon V where if you pull one in a pack, you might not have plussed. <laughs> Having said that, I mean, we've opened six packs so far, right? And so far, we're rocking a Pokemon V, a Hollow, and a Full Art Pokemon V. So, frankly, we're, we're doing pretty well so far. So, there's a Growlithe. There is a Roly Coley. There is a Metatite. Bit of the old Grubbin. There's an Electabuzz. Grass Energy. Palisand. Oleana. We pulled a Rainbow one of them previously. Ooh, Twin Energy is a very nice card. Rev Hollow Metatite. And, ooh, another Rillaboom V. Pull one of those from these packs as well. So, I'll be honest with you, right? So far, this has not been terrible. We've opened six packs of this set, six packs of Rebel Clash, and we pulled ourselves two Pokemon V, not the most valuable, but still very cool, a full art double, and this is going to get tacked into a bunch of decks, which is cool, and a Chandelier. So we've essentially got kind of three and a half hits, although admittedly they're not the best Pokemon V, but they're still cool, and I still love them. Of course, Darkness of Blaze is the new set. And this is where we really want the hits from. We want to be getting things like Crobat and Eternatus and Center Scorch and things of that nature. So, there's a Hibitas. There's a Centret. There's a Larvesta. There's a Morlul. A Toxel. Psychic Energy. Uh, Lightning Energy. It's clearly not Psychic. Glimwood Tangle. We like really nice new stadium. There's a Laron. Revol of Old Corona. And Galarian Mr. Rhyme. It, to be fair, it is actually a very cool playable card. It's part of that mad party deck that people are starting to hype up and think is kind of cool. It's not amazing, but if that deck takes off, people are going to want Galarian Mr. Rhyme. And I'm going to want Galarian Mr. Rhyme if that deck turns out to be really good. Because even if I don't want to take it to a tournament, it's still the kind of deck you need to be testing and making sure you know how to play it. Just in case. Right. Second pack then. So, there's a Larvitar. There's a Grimer. There is a Daramaka. Centret. Rowlet. Love that Rowlet. Psychic Energy. Carnivine. Big Parasol's cool. Piers is a nice card. Rev Hollow Aaron. That's my middle name. And Hippowden. Okay. So, we've actually had as many green code cards in our first two packs of Dance of Blaze as we had from all of our packs of Rebel Clash. So, you know... It's time to go and get one of them there are money cards. It's time to get one of those big cards. Maybe a, um, 
or maybe a Rainbow Rare Rose, or Rainbow Eternatus V Max, or a Center Scorch would be quite nice. Maybe a Crobat. I'd like a Crobat. So there's a Meltan, a Bunnelby, that's also from that Mad Party deck. Paris, Larvitar, Gollet, Fire Energy, Familiar Bell, and Struggle Gloves. Clang, Rev Hollow, Bad Mr. Mime, and... Oh! The worst rare in a long time. That is one of the worst rares. I'm going to assume that that came from one of the packs that had a really good card. Because that is one of the worst rares you will ever see. 2 energy, 70 damage on a 90 HP stage 1. That is about as bad as you get. It is... I mean, as a rare card... Put it this way. When I do my end of year award show, as I tend to do... There is... That is a front runner for worst card released this year. And I, I really like its chances of winning. So there's a clink. There is a Skitty, there's a Pansage, bit of the old Gullet, Vanillite, there's a Water Energy and a Clang, there's a Gofferita, We Like Piers, Rev Hollow Pokemon Breeders Nurturing, and Heatran. Now that is a Hollow, it's got the understated Hollow effect, so we've finally got a White Code card, which is nice, but let's just say, and we've already got fewer of the White Codes here than we did in the other pack. It is... We're going to need something good from the last two packs of Darkness of Blaze, alright? We're going to need to pull something cool. And we're not really going to need to. The full art double alone was... You know, and a couple of Pokemon Vs. This was still a nice opening. This is... There are no regrets here in, in terms of running out to buy these cards. But, you know, would be nice to get a hit before we finished. Although I've had a lot of luck in my last packs of openings, so you never know. There's a Pansage. Although if this is the worst opening, that might finally stop me going and buying these double packs. Because I'm not I'm not able to use one to finance the next one. There's a Fletchinder, Hiding Darkness Energy, Rev Hollow Bertic, and Darmanitan. Okay. We've had a couple of we have had some nice trainers, etc. But the Darkness of Blaze packs have been disappointing. I don't think that is a controversial thing to say. Out of the Rebel Clash, we did very well. Couple of Vs, Anna Chandler, and then Dubwool. Out of the Darkness of Blaze, the best thing we've got is that Heatran. So, I'm going to need something good here. I'm going to need an, a nice card from the final Darkness of Blaze pack. Something to make me go, oh, that was worth it. It was worth going to buy these Darkness of Blaze cards. So, let's see what we can do, shall we? We've got ourselves a Larvesta, a Morlul, Toxel, Skitty, and like I say, the last pack luck has been in. Rowlet, Grass Energy, Caper Toughness we like, Powerful Colorless Energy we like, there's a Soul Rock, Rev Hollow Piers, and Eternatus. There we go. That's a nice card. Eternatus V Max is being phenomenally hyped as a deck right now. You can't play Eternatus V Max without Eternatus V. And I know that it is coming out in a tin, but it's not out in a tin yet. Okay, last pack magic. And the weird thing is, I'm doing these packs in a random order. I'm just pulling the packs out and doing them as they come. And that's kind of weird, right? I can't be the only one that thinks that's weird. So out of the six boosters, we got ourselves two hollow. Free Pokemon V, including Eternatus, which is awesome. And a Full Art Double, which is a very nice card as well. It's not quite to the level of my other two openings. But I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, to be fair, the first opening was ridiculous. This isn't bad. I'm not sure this has put me off buying more. I, I do think we probably need to end the trilogy here. I don't know if I can justify doing another one of these openings. But as always, there is a comment section. If you've got an opinion on that, do let me know, would ya? For now, you know the deal. Comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at the Wasser. You know all of this by now. Most important thing as always, look after yourselves. Till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio. Bye!